guys, welcome to Old Bird New Tricks. I'm Amanda Pennick. I just got my Avian Stainless order in, so I thought I would give you a chance to see what some of the bells look like. Now, one of them is being donated to an auction supporting Feathered Haven, and the rest we are donating to Parrot Partner. So the bells in general are a little bit larger than what I would order for my own guys. So this is the High Time Dinner Bell and it is specifically made for really strong beaks and big birds. It is going into a green wing macaws cage. This opening here makes it a little bit dangerous for medium sized birds because they can get their head stuck in there or even macaws who don't have the really large beaks. If they start putting their beak in there, it gets too far, they can get it stuck. So safety wise, it is specifically designed for the really, really big parrots. And like I said, this is going to be given to Sinbad the Greenwing Macaw. The next one we have is the Blingin' Ring, and it's a bit of a smaller bell. This one is going probably into Mad Max's cage, and it's really neat. It's got a diamond in the bottom, and it's got a little heart there. I really like that they cover the chains uh, with stainless steel beads as well because then it's going to reduce toe snagging if they're very energetically playing with this. Oh, sorry, did I startle you? Can I see it? Darwin is very used to new toys, so my moving quickly startled him, but uh, approaching him with new toys in general is usually pretty safe. All right, so the next one we have is Gray's Dig It, and this is for medium-sized birds, and it is going to be donated to the Feather Haven auction this fall. I will post links to that auction, obviously, once it uh, becomes available. I really like this one um, so much that I might be ordering a few more for the Parrot Partner birds. It's got a lot of little pieces for them to play with and manipulate. It's got little hearts on it. It's got mirrors, which a lot of birds like. God, you blew my ears. Uh. <laughs> Are you done? So um, yeah, I am going to change this piece before it's donated to something a little bit larger because again, I think this is suited for medium birds, so I want a wide enough uh, clasp that it's going to be safe hanging in the cage. There you go, that's Gray's Dig It. This one is Bundled Bells, and I haven't decided who's going to get this one yet. Again. The chain pieces are covered. It's very reflective. So if you have a bird that likes mirrors and bells, this is a really neat toy for them. Lots of different noise making options. So yeah, that's the bundled bells. Oh, that was loud. All right, this is the clang bang. It is a measuring cup with a piece for them to manipulate that way. Again, we've got a fully covered chain, which I really like. Uh, this is another one that I really like, and we'll probably be getting multiples of it for the Parrot Partner birds. I like to order one first and see what it looks like, see who likes it um, before I order others. They are a little pricey, uh, the Avian Stainless in general, but you never need to replace them. And because they're stainless steel, they can be totally disinfected for moving into different bird cages. So they're well worth the price. And this last one is the Whirlwind. This one is my favorite because it's so unique. And I can definitely see birds hanging on this. Some of the birds that like to swing to make the noise. Plus it's got all these mirrors on the bottom. And uh, this is another one that I will probably reorder a few of for the Parrot Partner birds. So there you go. I know sometimes if you're shopping online, it's hard to know how large things are or what they would look like in person. So I thought I would just show you what my avian stainless looks like. And of course I will post pictures once the uh, birds at Parrot Partner get them and start playing with them. All right, hope you enjoy your week and we'll see you soon. Bye.